Hello, scholars. We're going to try something slightly different this week for our uh, Monday English task. Because the reading we usually do on a Monday is built around poetry. So I thought it'd be a nice challenge for us to have a go at writing a very short poem together, really thinking about our descriptive language. So this is called a short burst poem. And the way it works is that we're looking at this picture. So I'm going to do one and then you're going to have a go using the independent task on your sheet. So here's a tiger. I'm going to focus on three parts of the tiger that I really want to describe. And you can see I've got these three lines here. So I want to talk about its eyes. I want to talk about its ears. And I want to talk about its fur. Those are the three parts. There are other things you could have thought of. You could have done the teeth, for instance, or the whiskers, or, or its nose. Lots of different things you could have chosen to do. Now, these words are now in the middle of the sentence, but I'm going to create three short but very descriptive sentences to describe each part. And I'm going to think about. So what do the eyes look like? Well, I'm going to start my sentence over here now with the tigers. I need that apostrophe to show it belongs to them. Something eyes, the tigers, gleaming eyes, glistening eyes, piercing eyes, staring eyes. I quite like piercing, it's that sense that it's looking into you somehow. The tigers, piercing eyes. Well, what, what are they doing? Stared. The tiger's piercing eyes stared, glared, looked, glanced. I quite like the idea of glared because I want this to be a slightly scary, like it's looking at its prey, something bad's about to happen. So the tiger's piercing eyes glared at, what is this going to glare at? Glared at, well, what could there be? I could imagine maybe there's some um, antelope running around or another animal or maybe a, some sort of predator, some sort of threat. So maybe, or just into the distance, maybe the tiger's piercing eyes glared at its, I quite like that, at its prey. Full stop. I'm gonna read this back. The tiger's piercing eyes glared at its prey. Oh, could I describe prey? I'm going to put in this little arrow, so I'm going to insert a word at its, maybe it's trembling prey. I want to show the prey are really scared. What about the ears? It's, and we use the word quivering. It's quivering ears, sort of moving around, floating around. It's quivering ears listened carefully. Maybe I don't like quivering so much anymore. I'm going to change quivering uh, to twitching. It's twitch. I think that gets a better sense of what the image that I want to create for the reader. It's twitching ears listened carefully. And then something about its fur. Maybe I could put, maybe I'm going to turn this into a comma actually, while it's, how could I, stripey fur, golden, soft, fluffy. I quite like golden. I want this tiger to appear quite majestic, quite sort of um, powerful. It's, while it's golden fur, what could the fur be doing? Could be flowing in the breeze, maybe rustled. Um, twitched, I've always used twitch, so maybe while it's gold, golden fur rustled. Actually, I don't like that idea, I'm going to change it. Maybe it's going to glisten while it's golden fur glistened in the sun. Could I maybe think here, could I add something else? Glistened like, I could use a little simile, glistened like a diamond, like a jewel, like a pearl, like a, I might go with diamond, diamond. Then I'm going to read it back to myself. The tiger's piercing eyes glared at its trembling prey. Its twitching ears listened carefully while its golden fur glistened like a diamond in the sun. So a nice short poem. I actually don't like the word carefully, just listening to it back. I like the word intently, like it's listening, something's about to happen. It's creating that sense of suspense a little bit there. And notice how much I've been editing my work as I've gone through. I've read it back out to myself. I've noticed I didn't quite like the sound of the word carefully, so I've replaced it with something else. It's twitching ears listened intently while its golden fur glistened like a diamond in the sun. And I wanted to come up with this idea that the tiger is a threat. It's got these piercing eyes. It's staring at its prey. It's listening intently. But it's also this wonderful, majestic creature that's very beautiful and powerful. And that comes across in the golden fur, which is glistening in the sun. So have a go. See how you get on and post your 
responses on Class Dojo. We'd love to see uh, lots of these on Class Dojo, see your ideas. It's a really nice way to write a powerful but very short poem in quite a short space of time while really thinking carefully about the words that we're choosing and the language that we're using as well. So see how you get on. Can't wait to read some of your responses.